Hello, welcome to Common Sense Academy. So one of the things I try to do on this show is raise awareness about the sovereign citizen movement and ideology. I do believe that it's a damaging ideology that's out there, okay? There's been some murders committed by sovereign citizens. It also gets people into trouble in all kinds of ways with the fraud, the tax stuff, ripping people off for money, okay? And they end up in situations they should have never been in. So again, I we have fun here, we learn, but we're, I'm also here to raise a little bit of awareness. What I found while doing some searches for sovereign citizens is uh, this document over here, you can see it says law enforcement sensitive indicators of sovereign ideology, a basic guide for law enforcement. And uh, it looks like it's from Tennessee Fusion Center. So I'm not sure exactly what the agency, what that agency is, but it looks like a bulletin for law enforcement officers so that when they see these signs or symbology, they know that they're dealing with sovereign citizens. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna look at some of these, we're gonna laugh, we're gonna see what they say, we're also gonna raise a little bit of a bit of awareness at the same time. Um, so before we begin, thank you for joining Common Sense Academy. I'm Joe the lawyer, I'm a real lawyer, I'm Joe Pometto. Uh what we do here before we start the show is we do the same time sip. Uh, everybody sit down, grab a beverage, put on the Common Sense Academy. We have a little bit of fun. All right. Um, I mostly like to drink coffee. My fans know that I also drink Diet Coke. But whatever it is that you have in your cup, whenever we sip it together, it tastes even better. Today I have coffee. If you want to see the type of coffee I drink, look in the description below. You can buy the same as me. It's free exchange. Okay, everybody raise your cup in the air. When we sip together, it tastes better. Cheers. Mm. Almost down to my last sip. Ah, that was delicious. One more thing before we get started. To support the show, please subscribe to this channel. Most of my viewers are not subscribers. Subscribing is a free way to support this show, which I put out there for free. I dedicate my time, etc., etc. Um I'm trying to get to 10,000 subscribers because then YouTube opens up a new uh, suite of options for me on my YouTube channel. So my channel will get better if you get me to 10,000. So please subscribe. Okay, now let's take a look here. Indicators of sovereign ideology. The first category are bumper stickers. Um, this is an interesting bumper sticker. Kind of looks like the flag of Texas. It says free and sovereign. Then you got under here, I am an American national, Title 8, USC, Section 1101A22B. And then they put the warning, U.S. statute used to in illustrate an individual is not a corporate citizen, but an American national. We all know that that means absolutely nothing. And we've seen many of these. Uh, I've done multiple videos on the magic license plates. They probably, that the sovereign citizens use because they like to drive without a license and convey, uh, convey, <laughs> uh, convey the fact that that they're allowed to drive because they have the constitutional right to travel so they can drive without a driver's license. We all know it's nonsense. I haven't seen these bumper stickers, but that's pretty funny. Over here, uh, translation, force of the county, posse comitatus, without prejudice, UCC 1.308. Um, again, I haven't seen these, this particular, uh, these particular symbols. Um, if you watch my show, you would know that the sovereign citizen movement sort of began out of the Posse Comitatus movement, which was a, uh, a movement in the early 1970s, a tax protesters mixed in with some white supremacy. Um, and these individuals, you know, claimed that the government didn't have, uh, doesn't have authority or jurisdiction over them. Uh, that that meaning the posse comitatus stuff is doesn't seem to be very prominent in the sovereign citizen movement anymore, even though the sovereign citizen movement is still prominent and growing. Uh, they like to cite the UCC. They believe there's loopholes in it that allow them to disobey the law. Okay, flags and insignias, distress flag, upside down American flag. Well, I have to say that actually fits their idea as well because they're all upside down. Um, so that flag makes logical sense for them. I've never seen it, but okay. 
Title IV flag says your swag, the Sovereign Citizens Handbook, civil flag. That must be on some books that are out there, some of the uh, manuals or whatnot that are um, sent around by these sovereign citizens. <laughs> then we have here the Republic of Alabama flag and then the RUSA present in Tennessee, the, Un the Republic for the United States of America. So this RUSA must be a local Tennessee group of sovereign citizens or perhaps militia. Uh, and then this Republic flag of Alabama flag, I don't know anything about that. I mean, um, it's kind of a cool looking flag, uh, but it probably is pretty silly. Down here, okay, Moorish sovereign citizens flags and insignias prominent but not limited to the western region of Tennessee. You want to know where it is prominent? The eastern region of my great state of Pennsylvania, the East Philadelphia. Common, Washita, Moorish Na American National Government, Moor. Not sure what this Washita means. Perhaps some of you can fill me in in the comments. Um, this looks like a special flag specific to Washita. Um, I don't know what's going on there. I would just say it feels to me like um, these are maybe, this is maybe similar to the Moroccan flag or some of the North African flags, at least in color. Um, those of you that don't know, you know, the Moors claim that a treaty uh, executed between the United States and Morocco back in the 1700s give them, gives them special status um, and, and they don't have to follow state or federal law in the United States. Some of them also believe, I think, that they were here before European settlers. Not sure. This is a legitimate Moorish organizational flag. This red one down here. This has been used by individuals adhering to sovereign citizen ideology. So the Moorish nationals actually have a, uh, you know, they have the, the, their own temple, their own organization. I believe it's a nonprofit. It's organized under the United States laws. It's all over the country. Um, you know, they claim to be disassociated with the sovereign citizen Moors, and this might be one of the 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 flags of the legitimate organization. Just an FYI, I know, I know, I know, I know it's backwards, okay? When I use this view on Filmora, um, for some reason it flips. Most of my videos you see it's correct. Some reason it flips here, and I have no way to fix it. I think maybe it could be fixed if I paid more money for the Filmora, um, but I just don't have the money to put into something, to put into that right now. Um, but subscribe to my channel, get me to 10,000, and uh, you know, maybe I can make a little more money off this channel. I don't really make much off it. Uh, I mostly do it for fun, um, but I like making money too. Okay, so here's a, a Washita license plate, D-R-O-I-T. I don't know what that is. That's probably Detroit. And then down here, Moorish American National Government um, license plates. Uh, just, and I'm sure we all know this, these license plates are fake. They're not magic. And these people put them on, think they can drive around with them. They might get away with it for a while, so they think it works, but it doesn't work. Okay, it, you, there's no right to convey. Cherokee Country Nation. Prominent in the eastern region of Tennessee, logos on documentation to include driver's license, vehicle registration, or license plates. Common in Turtle Island, Cherokee Nation of Indians, Cherokee Country, Little Shell. Um, these are cool little symbols. United Nations of Turtle Island, Cherokee Nation of Indians, Cherokee Country. Maybe that's a, uh, a portion of sovereign citizens um, that are Native American in origin. I I'm not sure. They're cool symbols, though. United Nations of Turtle Island, Federation of Turtle Island license plate. These are fake license plates, okay? Fake license plates. These are going to get you pulled over. Ah, more. All right. Law enforcement sensitive. More license. That's all that these sovereigns do is make fake license plates. It's a whole, it's a whole industry. Posters have been found taped to vehicle windows and at the entrance of property, right? They like to tape them in places. Exempt, no license required, consumer goods, private property, sovereign, neutral, non-combatant. Okay, uh, what war are you not fighting in? Um, that's an interesting one. But this exempt, no license required, that's off, that's language I've seen.
Moving to the right, Alabama Sovereign One. This is from the Republic of Alabama. Looks like uh, Alabama's own little brand of sovereign citizens or militias. They make their own fake plates. Uh, they put the little stickers on them that perhaps make them look more real. Uh, over here, Moor Republic. Um, this is it looks like a Moorish sovereign citizen uh, over here. It, look here in the one part they got the the pyramid and the eye from the dollar bill. That's um, that's oftentimes associated with uh, what the hell are those guys? What do come on? Um, what is that? Oh God, I'm having a, a, a brain seize. You guys know who I'm talking about. The legitimate organization with all the conspiracy theories. Regardless, there's a United Nations symbol over here. Sorry guys, that doesn't have any magic power. All right, down here. Chakchiuma Sketchy Washi Walk Washita Clan. Um, that's a fancy, weird looking license plate. Kind of cool, isn't magic. Over here is a Grateful Dead license plate. Bring an end to identity theft, cut the government. More nonsense. Over here looks like a, a whole trespass sign for the sovereigns. Warning to all federal, state, county, local, municipal entities and their agents. Do not trespass. Restricted allodial land. Let me know what a look let me know what allodial means, friends and in, in common censors. I don't know what it means. I really don't know. Over here, sovereign Christian citizen, just a whole smorgasbord of fake license plates. Then we get to the religious symbols. Ah, oh, I covered some of this in a recent video. Religious symbols, specifically those of the Pope or Vatican, have been used to due to their established sovereignty. This concept appeals to some sovereign ideologies in the United States and formulates one of the foundations of their belief system. Over here, an emblem of papacy, also called keys to the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Silver key binding, gold key loosing, the tiara. Pope as supreme pastor, teacher, and supreme peace. Cord linking of the two na nations, notions of binding and loosing. So I've seen the Pope used in a couple of ways in the sovereign citizen ideology. Um... Some, you know, first of all, you have the Vatican City, which is a sovereign nation, so they maybe look to that as inspiration. Also, there's conspiracy theories that go back literally thousands of years, linked to the Pope, the Pope and the Catholic Church setting up a sort of um, the federal government here in the United States that is illegitimate. Um, and somehow, if they unlock these magic keys, they don't have to follow the rules. The reversal of keys represents, so, oh, and this one, the key, the gold key is on the right. Over here, the gold key is on the left. Reversal represents emblem of Vatican City, city gold key, power in heaven, silver key, spiritual authority of the papacy on earth. Down here, a legitimate stamp of the Vatican. The image has been located on identification cards, such as the International Diplomatic Driver Permit not to be confused with the legitimate international driver permit. The international diplomatic ID cards have been submitted in multiple states. So they probably think because there's these special international Vatican cards, okay, that are probably used in Europe, that they can use them in the United States. If they put the symbol on it, it gives them the right to drive illegally. Um, I can tell you these international driver's licenses don't work in the United States, no matter what it is. Now, I don't know if there's certain diplomatic immunity, okay, um, but I've dealt with this in my career as, a, as an attorney. Uh, you need a, a valid United States driver's license in this country. Um, union of the Crown's Royal Badge represents the personal union of King James II realms. Sovereign ideology, and we're looking over here at this weird flower thing, Sovereign ideology presumes individuals are separate from U.S. citizens and are American nationals. Some believe they are only responsible to the supreme being of God. Okay, so uh, if God's the only law, then we don't need any law on earth. That's essentially what these clowns are saying. Down here, Flag of Peace International, used on documentation. Currently found in Tennessee with the eastern region as well as Davidson and Shelby counties. 
um, yeah, just a symbol they put on to give their documentation fake legitimacy. Over here, name here, Divine Province, a generic symbol used on various documentation filings in several states, including Tennessee, commonly found on but not limited to Divine Province. Okay. The use of a crest or coat of arms on documentation. Purpose. Identify the individual filing the paperwork. Colors and objects hold meaning to the family. Um, okay. Sovereign Cop Watch, a website dedicated to videotaping officers and the commission of their duties and placing the video on the internet. Oh, I thought that was called uh, Auditing America. I mean, there's so many of them on, this might be a few years old, there's so many of them online now, it's unbelievable. Sovereign Authority, Sovereign Cop Watch, the Church of Sovereigns. The Church of Sovereigns. I mean, this is getting ridiculous. An individual participating in Sovereign Cop Watch does not constitute that person as being sovereign. The filming of officers performing their commission duties and or posting them to a website does not constitute the violation of criminal or civil laws. This might be, this must be some, some language that they use to show that they can legally record the police. Oh, here's the signed stamp. Wow, we got a lot here, friends. We got a lot here. I might make this two videos. Here's the signed stamp, use of stamp and signatures. Stamps are used on current documentation for multiple reasons. A stamp placed on the back page is believed to prevent others from adding to the original document. Well, that's interesting, but false. Represents having the last word. Also interesting. Believe that one side of a court document is civil and one side criminal. The stamp is placed on the civil side, binding the court and preventing them from maneuvering against the sovereign. Interesting. If a stamp is present on the front with a signature, it suggests they are a private attorney general and are in control of the criminal as they are bringing criminal charges against someone and have stamped the video side of the document. Well, you know, that makes sense because I watched a video of this guy putting stamps on his filings and then signing them, and he kept saying that he was the judge and that this gave him the power to now rule over the court. So they must think that uh, putting a stamp on your legal document and signing it gives you magic powers, makes you a judge. Prevents the Kirk clerk from biases if the stamp is not readily noticeable on the front. Well, that's true. That's why a lot of court papers are, st are stamped, so that you can readily identify where it's been filed. Prevents the judge from ignoring the paperwork when it, was, when it is face down on the desk. That's an interesting theory. Signifies the individual as postmaster and tampering with the document is committing an offense. Right, it's committing an offense in that individual sovereign person's own world only has no, no meaning. Makes it legally binding as a canceled stamp which is believed to be required by law and the red metered stamp as illegal. It's only legally binding in their own world. Judges are unable to refuse, refute, or reject the paperwork when a stamp is signed as sovereigns believe it becomes legally binding. If only words truly had magical powers. This stuff is insane. Color significance. Gold. Establishes an individual as sovereign. Also suggests the individual accepting the document has accepted something of value since it contains the symbolism of gold. Well, I mean, put some real gold in there and it actually will have value. Uh, but we all know the sovereigns, they don't want to, they, they like U.S. money. They don't want to give up their money. Red. Generally used to cancel out items on documents. The use of red ink symbolizes cancellation of American citizenship. They're correct on red. Professors generally mark something up in red. It doesn't cancel your citizenship, though. Blue. Used when dealing with admiralty law. Uniform commercial code. As sovereigns believe this is to be the law of the United States and not the Constitution. Blue ink symbolizes a link with the sea. I give them that. Blue does symbolize a link with the sea because the ocean is blue. But that's where it ends. Black, used when dealing with corporate law documents. Corporate law is viewed as being dead, and black symbolizes death. 
Um, I give them that. Black does symbolize death, but your little color codes don't have any real meaning. Um, we got a couple more pages here. Uh, I'm just gonna, I, I'm, you know, I'm gonna skip over them. Um, I may do another video on law enforcement and travel documents and verbiage and markings. I don't want to make this video too long, but I'm glad that we got to the root of the signature over the stamp because I just uh, I was just looking into that with sovereign citizens. Um, they believe the signature has magic powers. Um, I hope you all had a little fun. We got to look at some of these goofy bumper stickers, um, these goofy flags, and of course, um, this goofy stamp stuff here. The sovereign citizen movement is alive and well. It's everywhere. Some some of what I do on this channel is bring um, a raise awareness for this movement. I hope you enjoyed this video. We had some fun, got to see some of their weird symbols and usages. If you like my channel, please subscribe. I'm trying to get to 10,000 subscribers. I'm around 4,000. Pump me up. Free way to support the show. Thank you for watching the Common Sense Academy.